Okay, so I'm late to this whole thing. Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. Happy all the other things. Kwanzaa. I, I meant for this video to come up originally um, before Christmas. But, you know, it, the family. Uh, my son got sick. He got his brother sick. My mom and dad got sick. I was the only survivor. So, I had to take care of everybody. And today... Um, the 26th is when I actually have time to make a video and everything and record. So today's video is going to be on adding custom bars to characters. This can also double as like um, adding a custom gauge to show things like a power up timer or um, or anything really. Um, the first part is to have your design. I drew this for Kung Fu Man and it's just to replace his uh, default power bar of course if the life bars have power bars then this is kind of irrelevant so you may have seen these things something similar to this in um warosaku warosaki 3's characters where you could pick um the cvs gauges and uh, this is kind of the same thing so basically you have your original design which is this top one here and then i decided to do multiple frames for level one level two and level three and then I had to mirror that and adjust accordingly for player two side. You could have it the exact same way on both sides, but I, I like to have it like this. This is just my personal thing. If you wanted to do just a, a super gauge or something by itself, you could just opt out and erase, you know, just have a bar for whatever. And then the, the bar fill. Um, it works in squares. There are ways to make it not work in squares. I don't know if what I'm doing is correct. I'll be very honest with you, but I do know this works aesthetically. Um, so as you can see here, it's a square from edge to edge here and here, and it's just details and colors that make it look like it's not, like it's rounded. So after you have your sprites, you're going to cut them all up and add them to your character. And your alignment is going to look like so. So this is this white line here on the axis is where the uh, meter begins and ends. It goes this way for player one, and just like so. And player twos will be the same, except obviously it's flipped and it's this way. The reason why is because when I the way I do it for this, and again I could be very wrong about this. There's probably many ways to do this, and this is not the most up-to-date way of doing it via Eichmann. But this is how I I figured it out, learned it, and this is what I'm going to share. Uh, you align it this way. Um, <clears throat> I use uh, modify X block codes to scale it based on the number of power gauges left. So I got my animations here as well. Um, as you can see, every bar frame is its own animation. Player one, player two, player one, player two, player one, player two, player one, player two. And I had them flashing, just yeah, makes it stand out a little bit. I have the bar. The bar is also, it could be a negative one time. Uh, it's one frame, and it could be a negative one time. It's like this. Okay. Now for code. Um, I want this activated at all times, because it's a, it's a fake superpower bar. So in my negative three state, I'm going to have a helper code with um, my trigger is going to be num helper 4000 or whatever ID number you want to use equals zero. Uh, this means if the helper is not active, make it active. And this will prevent it from um, spawning multiple helpers of the same uh, type. So you don't want to overfill your uh, helper usage. It'll slow the game down and other things. It might not slow the game down nowadays, but it used to blow computers up back in the day. You have your, um, your post type back, so it's always attached to the back of the character, whatever side of the screen they are on. And then, uh, you know, super pause time, move time, just negative one, so it's always able to move during pauses and everything. If you don't make this a helper and you just do X plots in your uh, negative three state def, the uh, hit pause will affect it. It's only very minor, it's only for like a split second, but it is noticeably. Uh, affected by it and that's why I opted to make it a helper in the helper I have it playing a blank animation which I made 9999 
which is blank, negative one time, negative one group. And I have little notes here for the version I post in the description. So first off, um, the first X blot, this is the frame with no power. Team side one, meaning your own player one side. Uh, if the X blot is active, and if the power is less than 1,000. So once you hit 1,000, you have one meter. So you don't want to display um, you know, the bar without the meter. Of course, you don't have to um, use this, for example. But this is what I use because I added the level 1, level 2, level 3 to my power bar frame. You don't have to do that. It's strictly up to you. I uh, have the animation, what position, and post type left. So it's always this Xbox always bound to the bottom left corner of my uh, screen. The position varies based on the local chord of your character. In this case, Kung Fu Man is a low res character, so these values are related to that. And then I have another one for frame with one bar, and again, these triggers are what's making it switch frames from no power to level 1 flashing, level 2 flashing, level 3 flashing. It's all about the triggers. So if you have power 1000 to 1999, it'll display one bar. Once you hit 2000, it'll display this one, and it'll cap at 2999. Once you hit 3000 or more, it'll cap at three bars. Of course, this could be equals, but I like you using greater than just because. And then um, I also have it uh, a remove frame, exploit. So remove exploit rather. Uh, that removes the previous frame uh, once it reaches another uh, threshold of power. So this way it's not multiple frames or multiple x blots being used and taken up. Okay, now, <clears throat> the power bar itself. Uh, this is the, the green power bar that's filling the space. I'm trying to find it again. This is this. And up oh, there we go. And it's aligned accordingly to how I want it aligned. And sometimes you gotta message your sprite priority to make sure it's um you know on top or behind or whatever you want to do, just to make sure it's visible. So this is just to display the whole green bar on top of it. Now what I use to display and scale the power bar accordingly is this modify XBOD code. Modify XBOD works in Eichmann Go. It, it, it doesn't work properly in Mugen from what I was told. Some things don't work properly, but uh, Modify XBLAD does work properly in Eichmann Go. And so I want this constantly active and I want it to affect this particular XBLAD. So I'm going to scale it based on the power, which is the current power that the player has, which is always you know fluctuating from 0 to 3000 or whatever I set his power to at the top of the CNS. And then I'm going to multiply it by a, a, a decimal, like a fractional of number. Uh, you have to play with this number to make it fit inside your gauge. If it's too high, which I'll show you, 333 is my number, so if I put 5, it's going to look um, very long. Notice here? So you would have to play, play, play with these numbers until they get it to work. And here's how they look in action. Okay, so... See, as the power is rising, it's scaling accordingly. And it's really hard for you to see, but if you could see it here, which you cannot because it's blue. There you go. It's probably a little better. As you can see, he's like a little smidgen away from level 1. And I didn't do lines in here, but you get the idea. But if I do another attack... Okay, one more. One more. Right there. See, he's a little bit over 1, but he's at 1, and I have this light up, so... You know you have a level 1. And as you keep rising it... There's gotta be a quicker way to get this up. I guess this. Okay, so then level two. And keep going. Level three. The reason I did it as a helper is so that it can adjust itself 
um, even when you have a super pause or a hit um, hit pause in effect. Notice how it disappears accordingly as it should. That's what we want. And um, that's pretty much it. Look up. So you have your blank no animation helper. <clears throat> In the, this case, the way I did it, I have uh, multiple X plots for the frame based on number of power that you have. I have remove X plots to, to keep the frames in and out. So it doesn't always stack all the frames all at once. Otherwise, it may just stack full power at all times when you don't want it to. And then I have the power bar. And then I have a modify X plot. And I use this to scale it accordingly to fit the gauge. And once it fits, it's good to go. It'll read the data, whatever data I put here. If I put life, it'll work with life. For instance, let's do life. Okay. I know it looks small, but uh, let's see if I can hurt myself. Okay, so those values don't work for life much at all. Yeah, it doesn't work for life. Because I think life was just a set value or something. But so is power. I'll be quite honest with you. I'm not good at math. I hate math with a deep passion. And I'm surprised I got this to work anyways. Um, once you do player one side, which I recommend do one player side, you copy and paste it. And you put team side two. And you change the IDs and whatever else you have to change. Animations. You change the post type to right because you're player two now. And it's basically copy and paste the same thing. In this instance, I did not have to change the power scale code. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You just go with the flow. Um, and that's pretty much it, honestly. Like This is a very simple, basic way of displaying a bar, a gauge, or some kind of indicator that will scale according to whatever um, value you give it. Like, um, let me see. I will... Let's show you something I added to Lucas Lee for the Scott Pilgrim game. And that is a, a meter for his hey, super hey, armor. Hey, hands up! Hands up! Sweet! What you gonna do? See? So that's pretty much the same logic behind it. So this way there's a visual indicator of how long his super armor lasts. And the EX version obviously is more value, so I changed the power scale to match the size of the bar. Ow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there are ways to do this that are probably better. My way is probably the most easiest, shittiest way to do it, but if you need it, this is a way to do it. Uh, this Kung Fu Teleport Man. <laughs> is going to be in the description below. You could download them, you could look at it for reference, or you could copy the code for all I care. Uh, even copy my meters, go ahead, do it. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and happy holidays.